Welcome into Monday's DTI Sports Update. I'm your host, Taryn Beatles. We had an exciting weekend with six Texas Tech athletic programs in action. The men and women's track and field were down in College Station. Now, here are the highlights. Just like rules, records are made to be broken too. Texas Tech men's distance medley relay highlighted the two-day Texas A&M Mondo Challenge on Friday, breaking another school record. The men's DMR, anchored by 2012 NCAA cross-country champion Kennedy Kithika, finished with a time of 9.41.55. Then on Saturday, the Kenyan native ran the fastest mile in Texas Tech history, finishing with a time of 3.59.55. Another record in the books. Senior Katie Grimes remains undefeated in the 60-meter hurdles. She finished Saturday's race with a time of 8 minutes and 27 seconds. On the field, sophomore Jacorian Duffield earned another first-place finish in the high jump category, clearing 6 feet and 11 and a half inches. Men's tennis also began their weekend in the ITA kickoff at Stanford University. Here are the results. Texas Tech came up shorthanded this weekend. Friday, number 29 Red Raiders dropped a close match 4 to 3 to number 27 San Diego. Then on Saturday, number 10 Stanford handed the Red Raiders their third straight loss to a team in the ITA top 30, falling 4 to 2 in the final match. On the women's side, number 21 Texas Tech sailed to victory with a 5 to 2 win over number 29 Rice in the opening round of the ITA kickoff weekend at Baylor's her tennis center. There were some professional big names in town who once wore the scarlet and black. This weekend, Texas Tech Baseball hosted their fourth annual alumni game at the Rip Griffin Park. Here's the recap. Among the returning alumni included Saul Bustos, Duke Von Schaumann, Bobby Durand, and A.J. Ramos. Tech coaching legends Cal Segrist and Larry Hayes led the alumni. Anytime these group of guys gets together, it's fun. There's always something, uh, some stories told that, that are really funny, and uh, just everybody together, this group of guys, it's just it's a good atmosphere. Jamondrick Magruder would get the alumni on the board early, scoring off a sacrifice fly from Bo Altabelli. Former big leaguer Mike Humphreys would follow up with an RBI single, putting the alumni up 2-0 after the first inning. Despite the early lead, the current Red Raiders would fight their way back and take the lead for good, scoring two runs in the bottom of the eighth. The final score was Red Raiders 5, alumni 4. Saturday night, the Texas Tech men's basketball played the Texas Longhorns. Unfortunately, they came out with a loss, 73-57. to Now, here's the recap. Sophomore Jordan Tolbert led the way for the Red Raiders, dropping 18 points and grabbing 13 rebounds. Texas Tech is now 2-5 in Big 12 play and 9-9 overall. Saturday's loss gave Texas its first win in the Big 12 this season. Inside the USA, the Lady Raiders pulled out their fourth consecutive win in the Big 12, outlasting Texas Christian 53-42. Tech got off to a slow start in the first half, but would soon find their rhythm with the help of senior China Brown. She was hot from beyond the arc in the paint and even on the defensive end. A dish from Monique Smalls to Brown outside closes the first First half, giving the Lady Raiders a 27 to 25 lead. Brown opens the second half just like she finished with a three from the outside. Add another assist for Smalls. The senior leadership by the Lady Raiders continued to help pull away from the Horned Frogs. Tech closed out the afternoon on top, 53 to 42 to end the game. China Brown led all players with a career high of 23 points. You know, I think it's been great leadership on our four seniors' part, and we had some great preseason experiences. You know, what a blessing that New Mexico experience was. You know, you turn it into a positive, the same thing at Arizona State, the same thing with Michigan State, the same thing with Oregon State being so big. We had a lot of different type, you know, systems we played against in the preseason that I think have really prepared us for this point now. So we're drawn from all those experiences, and um, the thing about this 
team is they're just preparing every day for the next one and they've got short-term memory they've been through this league they understand what it takes and understand what got us to this point and didn't get us to this point before and so I'm proud of their leadership and you know their mindset every day. And I'm Taryn Beatles this has been your DTI sports update thanks for watching.